I'm gonna say something uh -oh. that does not surprise me, but I've said this to one other person, Emma Stone. Okay. Okay. This happens all the time. You, <laughs> you escaped. I always say escaped. You escaped working on a soap opera. They offered you a job. You mm -hmm. turned it down. But I always say like. Soap operas have a really great eye at who a major star is. They have a really great really? eye. They find people. And Emma Stone was the other person that I always go, you never worked on a soap because... Uh, escaped as well. No, 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 I mean, I... <laughs> I, they you know, find great people. They, they, they catch hired, and release. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, that was a catch and release <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, but so, but you did get a, a soap opera offer. I did. I yeah. was in. I was in college. I had no thoughts about acting at that time. Um, but I read for something. I, I had a commercial agent who was amazing, Michael mm -hmm. Guy, and he had gotten me an audition for so, for. I, it was a soap, but I wasn't really. I didn't know what it was. I was in film school and just let me try it. Mm. Yeah. And um, and then yeah, they called me back and then they offered it to me and. I couldn't really justify, and I would have to move from Philadelphia, drop out of school, go to Los Angeles, explain to my parents that I'm quitting school to do a short stint on some soap opera. So uh, it was uh, lovely of them to offer, but I knew that was not my path. See, that makes perfect sense to us. We were like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, you would drop out and you would yeah. move across the country. <laughs> I, hadn't, I didn't grow up wanting to act. It right. was not a thought of mine. So it right. wasn't, if, if, if it had been to play for the NFL, you then know, you would have basketball right, or right, something that right, I was interested right. in at the time. Uh, but well, you moved all, to yeah. New York to do what then? I moved to New York after college, after teaching in Philadelphia. Uh, I was doing odd jobs. I was doing anything I could find off of Craigslist involving filmmaking. Uh -huh. so I, was, I was working on fil film sets, doing short films for Columbia students and NYU students and doing second camera, doing anything I could find. I was lying all the time on resumes <laughs> about things I was good at just to get any, any gig. Yeah. Yeah. And then I ended up working in a law firm for over a year. I was bartending and waiting tables, just, you know, New York hustling mm -hmm. while I figured out what I was going to do with my life, kind of that quarter-life crisis you have in your mid-20s. At any point, did you go, I should have taken that soap opera job? <laughs> <laughs> when you're looking at that, when that unemployment check yeah, you're runs like, out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How much were they going to pay? Yeah. <laughs>